and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. So there is a lot of buzz in the craft world right now about a new feature in Cricut Design Space, and that is the text warp feature. And so I wanna talk about that today. If you have seen the update, then you probably already know that you can preview and design with that update in Design Space. You can play with everything, edit things, design everything that you want. But if you are not a Cricut Access member, you can't actually make anything with the designs that you've created using that warp feature. I want to show you a little workaround for that. So you can use the warp feature without paying for access. Let's talk about how you can do that. Okay, over in Design Space, you can see that I am running the beta version. It is the beta version of the Design Space software. The one that I'm currently running is 7.29.147. If you're not running a beta version of the software, then you likely do not see the warp text option. So if you want to run the beta version, then all you have to do is come to the hamburger menu, come down to settings, and you would switch your application experience from live to beta then you will have the tested content that is being perfected available to you before it's released to the regular live version of the software. So to use the warp feature here in Design Space, we're just going to grab a text box and type in whatever text we want. I'm gonna just type in our home is where the pants aren't motto that we have in the Oaks family. And then you can format your text now or after you apply the warp texture or the warp feature, excuse me. So I can decrease my line spacing or increase my letter spacing, whatever I want to do um, now or I can do it later. So let's go ahead and apply some warped features to it. To apply the feet to apply the warps um, effects, you can do that with one line of text. So if I just wanted home, um, let me go ahead and just put one of those, just one line of text in here, and um, I'll show you what the features look like with one line of text versus uh, multiple. Let me decrease this line spacing some more. Okay, so I'm just going to have this selected, and I'm going to come up to warp. And you can, there are several different options here. So we can arc our text or our graphic up or down, even more spaced out. And then you can see here, there's just lots of different options. Kind of a squiggly mar or a design, which looks pretty neat. The old school looking uh, Star Wars, you know, where the credits are scrolling, that type of effect. Lots of different ones here. And if you're familiar with design programs like Illustrator and things like that, there are even more warp options available in Illustrator than here. But this is a really great start. I know that lots of people have been looking for features like this, but let me go ahead and do one line of text so that you can see what it looks like. Looks pretty cool, right? And then, like I said earlier, you can um, go ahead and increase your line spacing if you want to um, and format even if the warp option has been on. So the question is, how do I cut this if I don't have access? I'm gonna show you a fun workaround. So let's go ahead and delete this. Actually, let's go and put that one on. We'll just use this one. So I'm gonna just make this as big as possible here. And what I want to do is essentially create my own SVG. And to do that, I am going to make this as dark as possible. So I'm gonna make it black. And then I'm going to remove my grid here on my canvas. And if you don't know how to do that, then right here in this top left-hand corner of your canvas, there's a blank square. If you click through that, then you can click through the different grid options and you can remove the grid. Now, I am on a Mac, so I'm going to take a screenshot or a, a, a like a snip of this screen. If you have a PC, you can do that. I think it's the snipping tool, if I remember correctly, or you can use your iPhone or tablet or whatever you're using to create a screenshot. And so I've got this right here. And now what I'm going to do is remove this background. So you can do a lot of different ways. Because I'm on a Mac here, I can just double click this screenshot and in the preview, press this right here. And then this alpha 
option, the instant alpha option to remove this background. Now you can also use other free background removers, uh, BG remover dot something I can't remember just do a google search and search free background removers adobe also has one that I love and use frequently um but to to use this one here um really quickly I'll go back in and I'll explain what I've done you just click and drag and everything that's red is selected and I'm going to push delete and it removes that background now I'm just going to do the same thing here in the center of the o delete. Now what this has done is removed the background and it has a transparent background now. So this is now a PNG. Now what I'm going to do is import this PNG just like this. I'll choose complex, apply and continue. And the other thing that you could do if you didn't have a background remover, um, I could have at this point, if the white were here, use the background remover or the erase tool that was in here. So a, a lot of different options, but either way, I'm gonna apply and continue. And this is where you are going to not press the print and cut image option. You're going to press cut image. So this is going to upload as an SVG. Add to canvas. And now I can click make it and cut this out. So you can do all of the design work here in design space, save it that way, import it. And if you had several lines that you wanted to change the colors up, you could do that um, just by fun slicing techniques and things like that. So there is a fun workaround. If that is too many steps for you, I wanna encourage you to use a program like Adobe Illustrator. If you like to design cut files, if you like different features like the warp option and offset and all of the new things that are coming to design space, then cutting or creating your own cut files is probably something that you're very interested in. We here at Oak and Lamb have a course that is specifically for you. It is our Illustrator with the Flock course and it is like an Illustrator for dummies that teaches you exactly how to create your own cut files from start to finish. We do a software overview, we do terminology, we show hotkeys, we show literally everything that I use to create the cut files here in the Oak and Lamb cut file library is what I teach you. You don't have to learn all of the extra things in Adobe Illustrator that you won't really use for cut file creation and that is liberating. We do also have a private Facebook group for all of our students where I continue education and continue to walk hand in hand with you in order for you to become a success, a successful, excuse me, graphic designer. We love the Illustrator course here. We love Adobe Illustrator. We love creating cut files and I love hearing all of the success stories from our students who have just dove in, started creating cut files, and started making lots of money on their own designs. It is so empowering. It makes me very even more passionate about what I do here at Oak and Lamb. And I want to extend a special offer to you on that course. Right now, if you click the link below, we are offering $40 off our Illustrator course. There is no coupon code necessary. It is automatic. When you add it to your car, it will be discounted for you. So join the Illustrator program, become a student, and become a really confident, amazing graphic designer with us here in the flock. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not a subscriber here to the YouTube channel, go ahead and click subscribe. And if you want to turn on notifications, so that you know every single time that we're live and every single time that we post content. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another video.